Hello guys. So today a very quick tutorial on how to um, replace the food waste disposal. As you can see, our old disposer started leaking today. It did a mess and we went ahead um, to pur purchasing a new uh, unit, which is here. And uh, we paid roughly $120 or to at Home Depot. The only difference between the new disposer and the old one is the engine. The new one um, has a half horsepower engine compared to one third horsepower for the old one. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, talk about the steps. The first step is uh, to, uh, of course, disconnect the electricity. If you go on um, inside your breaker inside the house you should have a um, the breaker panel you should have a breaker for the disposer once you disconnect the electricity you need to go ahead and deattach this hose this is the hose that actually connect the disposer to the sink you need to um, unscrew these two um, screws and at that point you are able to pull the hose back in. The second, the third step is then to um, look at the connector and uh, you need to unplug it. The best way to do that is to use an hammer as we, we did and you need to uh, screw in this way. We have already done it before starting this video so it's not that easy but uh, you, if you use uh, something like a um, WD-40 and the number you are able to unscrew it and to deattach it. At this point, all you have to do, let me see what is the best angle, probably this is the best angle, is uh, to deattach the wires. There is a, a very small box here. If you unscrew the only bolt, the only um, screw that is there, you can see the two wires. All right, now we have, uh, of course, three wires. Do we have three or four? We should have. Uh, So one wire. is the ground that goes here, and then we have the two poles, what and then are white with white, uh, and then green with green. Here the good thing is that uh, the wires that you have from home are very thick. Mm -hmm. The wires of the engine, uh, of the old disposal, they are thinner, okay. because it takes less power, so it means that you are good with upgrade of the motor. Okay. So this is now detached, and well, it's ready that's, to go. That's uh, what we need to... So we need to connect. This is uh, the cable that comes from the house. We have the two poles that needs to be connected to the disposer. So it, mm -hmm. it's very, it's actually very easy. White to white, black to white, black to black. And then we have the ground that we need to connect here. Let me see. When there is this bolt, here we are. Right. Okay. So the next step, the next step that we have here is to unscrew the bolts. We have already unscrewed two of them. There is one here, another on the back, and then this one. All right, now we have uh, removed the bolt. The next step is to push that part up. Let me see what we can do. there is a, okay. a ring that we need to remove. Let me see if we can show it. Okay, go ahead and turn it. Right here. Okay. Oh, here we are. So we have a we have a specific tool. Okay, yeah, this that one. one. And we need to remove that uh, ring. Here we are. Okay. Now that part goes uh, away. 
And now from the sink, let me see. All right. Now from the sink, we should be able to, here we are, to remove this part. So now, now, as you guys can see, we have uh, we have removed uh, we have removed everything. We have nothing here, and now we are ready to assemble our new engine. Now that we have removed uh, our old disposal, we are gonna go ahead and assemble the new one. Again, we have our boring. We need to take it off. All right. We have here very important the gasket. Uh, the gasket. Next step is uh, to put a uh, uh, paste on this surface here. And um, what we bought is this uh, plumber's putty. All right, so this is uh, the part that we need to put on the top of the sink. And we are gonna apply some of this paste on this surface. We apply the paste to this part, this is pretty much the fringe. The fringe. So we put, we apply the paste to the fringe, and this is the way it should uh, like look like. All right. The next step is to um, assemble the remaining components here. We have. Uh, this gasket then we have the ring All right. then we have the next component that is the one that has the bolt attached we're gonna apply the ring that's gonna be a little bit tricky Okay, now we are tightened the bolts. We need to do that evenly. All right. All right. Now we need to connect the wires. So we're gonna open the box at the top, the, the bottom of the engine. All right. So we have our two poles, the white and the black, and the green um, screw is there for uh, the, the ground. All right, now, after we connected all the wires, uh, we, of course, put uh, the cover back. Let's see what we can do. I can hold it for you if you want. All right. Now that we have uh, assembled our uh, uh, disposal, we need to connect the hose. So first we need to put the gasket over there. All right. It's important that the groove of the gasket stay inside. Yes. Okay. This way we have. All right. 
Okay guys, we have arrived at the end of this video, this uh, quick tutorial on how to replace your uh, uh, food disposer. I hope uh, that you found it useful, that it will help you in uh, replacing yours. Please uh, uh, comment below if you have any questions and if you like this video, uh, please a thumbs up. And uh, if you like my channel um, and if you want to support it, please subscribe. Thank you.